you work for an organization called Fibrite K, is that That's right? correct. What do you do there exactly? So I'm an interventional radiologist who has taken a subspeciality branch of radiology and focused exclusively on embolization, and particularly embolization of fibroids. So this is the non-operative form of treatment for fibroids. Now, so em em embolus, in, me in, in basic medical terms, when you're taught anatomical pathologies, when you have a, a blood clot sitting in one area of the body, and a piece of that clot moves there and elsewhere, that's called embolization. Now, you take that abnormal process <laughs> and create treatment out of it? Well, it wasn't me. It was done many, many, many years ago. Uh -huh. But I've been fortunate enough to follow the masters in their, in their trade. Uh -huh. So let's break the word embolization down. Yeah. And it's often a misconception amongst people. One, the word is very difficult. Mm. But the concept is elegant. Mm. So the fibroids have a blood supply. It's arteries that go to the fibroids. And our goal during embolization is to block off the arteries that supply blood, food, oxygen, ah. nutrients to the fibroid. So you suffocate it. We suffocate it. Yeah. And the result is very simple. The fibroid dies. Okay. Now, as a gynecologist night next to me, it's a, it's a pleasure to sit next to you because you know a, uh, a fibroid is full of blood. Mm. And the minute you starve it of blood, it dies. And what's important, it stops causing symptoms then. So these ladies who present with terrible pain around their menstrual period, terrible bleeding around or during the menstrual period, if you take away the blood supply to the fibroid, for some reason you turn off those symptoms. No, but hang on. Anything that dies must be buried. So, so, exactly. so, so, so once it dies, and what happens because it can attack the exactly. bacteria and cause problems? Exactly. So very old thinking was if you destroy an organ and leave it in the body, yes. it would form an area of infection Correct. and cause a lot of trouble. Absolutely. There's something amazing about the death of a fibroid. It mm. does not do this. So whether it's a two or three centimeter fibroid or a 15 centimeter fibroid. It shrivels. It shrinks, shrivels, and it does not get infected. Now, I say that in the absence of any infection in the lady's I uterus. See, so that is, if you want one single reason to not do embolization, it is a lady who's got active pelvic disease, inflammatory no. infectious because disease. Because you don't want to, to interfere with the exactly. chances that that dead fibroid might attract some infection. Exactly. So but you want to make absolutely certain that there are no hokakis in there. Exactly, exactly.